tough year to do that. Yeah, and I'm going to go with uh, teams to watch here that are in the bubble. I'm going to go with Kentucky. They have Nerlens Noel out, which means, I mean, if you don't have him, the, one of the best players in the league, you might not make the tournament. I think Virginia should be in. They beat Wisconsin this year. They beat Duke, North Carolina also, and NC State, who was once ranked in the top five. They yeah. played Miami tough, so I feel like they should be in. Iowa out of Wisconsin, out of the Big Ten. <laughs> one of the toughest programs, or one of the toughest, uh, what's the word I'm trying to say here? Conferences right now in basketball, so I feel like Iowa should also be in. So uh, that'd be nine teams. I like Iowa State, who just yeah. beat, uh, who was that, number 11, Oklahoma State last weekend. So I'm taking Iowa State. So Kansas to OT. I, yeah, I like Marquette. They got their big man is just unstoppable. Yeah. I don't think you're getting past Marquette and University of Miami. I'll yeah. take the U, too. Yeah, they're a good team. Let's talk uh, some madness in this tournament that could happen. My madness thoughts are the Badgers could be an Elite Eight team or more if the matchups in their bracket are good for them. They are a stellar team on defense. They allow the least amount of points per game on the season. It's got to be like 50 points at least. Yeah. And they Never can really the move the ball around. So it's great to see. Wouldn't that be something if Marquette and Wisconsin played each other in the lead eight? But yeah. let's uh, go to break into a UWL promo. Yeah. University of Wisconsin Lacrosse is ranked the number two college in the Midwest. UW Lacrosse is ranked number 34 for out of state students among public universities nationwide. UW Lacrosse is ranked as one of the most military friendly schools in the nation. UW Lacrosse is number 24 among medium colleges and universities for Peace Corps volunteers. Welcome back to Sports Talk Live. We got a little fun for you right now. We're playing Love It or List It. First man we'll start with is Wes Welker. If you're a Patriot, are you going to love him and keep him on your team, or are you going to list him and send him off to the free agency world and see where he ends up? Let's hear what you guys have to say. Uh, if I was a Patriots fan, which I'm not a Packers fan, Patriots suck, by the way. <laughs> I would love him because he caught 118 catches and for 1,000 yards with six touchdowns. How do you let that go? Tom, pa Tom Brady already took a pay cut, so why wouldn't you give the man more money? Just what Skyler said, you got to love Wes Welker. Five out of the last six years, he's had 100 yards receive, 100 yards, 100 catches in a year and 1,000 yards receiving in five of the last six years. So you got to keep Welker. Like he said, Tom Brady took a pay cut, so yeah. keep Wes Welker. He is on pace to keep it moving, but let's move on. Greg Jennings for the Green Bay Packers. Where is he going to end up, or is he going to stay with Green Bay? I personally believe that he might be listed and picked up right away by the Minnesota Vikings to replace Percy Harvin. What do you guys say? Yeah, I would have to agree. I'm listing him, too. He's, uh, he's too injury prone. The Packers don't need him. He had a groin injury and a hamstring injury. He's too much in his Old Spice commercials and lifting up cars, so I feel like we need to list him and let him go. I feel like if he goes to the rival of the Vikings, let him have him. I'm going to list him again like everybody else. Like you said, he injury prone. Even on his YouTube video, he was injured running to the touchdown. If y'all didn't watch that one, look that one up too. It's pretty funny. But I'm going to list him. I don't think we need him. All right. Well, now we'll, uh, how about Mike Vick of the – newly Chip Kelly offense. Michael Vick. You know, part of me wants to love him. Part of me wants to list him. 
but in this case, I'm going to love him because he's been around the league for more than we know. He's been to jail and back. Who cares? <laughs> it's just, just nothing. And now he's with Chip Kelly, who wants to run a fast-paced offense, and he's got the legs. He's got running back with legs. He's got a wide receiver with legs. Those guys are ready to do something special. It's just if Chip Kelly's offense can handle it in the NFL. So we'll have to see. What do you guys say? I don't think that his offense is going to go over that well because you're talking about 19 and 20-year-old college students, and then you talk about 36 or 35-year-old Michael yeah. Vick, who every time he get hit, break a rib. So, concussion. Yeah, concussion, injured finger. Very injury-prone. now. Yeah. yeah, very injury prone. Yeah, and if you guys didn't hear, he had a, a book release just the other day about his dog fighting days, <laughs> and they actually had to uh, cancel the event because he was getting uh, threats basically from people saying that they didn't want him around in his town, signing books and autographing books and stuff. So it's just interesting to see and. We'll be right back with one more break. We're uh, going to go check out some more of those adorable perfect pets. Speaking of the Oscars, this guy is an award winner. Oscar is only eight months old, but a very sweet and laid back guy. This is Scout. He is two years old and loves to play. He is very friendly and loves attention. Meet George, a four month old boxer mix. He's cute, fun, curious, and a lovable guy. Meet Hambone, he's a one year old lovable coonhound mix. To find out more about adoption for these pets or others, contact the Cooley Region Humane Society at 781-4014. Hey guys, welcome back. I want to apologize for talking about Michael Vick and dog fighting and then going right to perfect pets. We I know it sorry. didn't make much sense, but hey, nothing wrong with a little comedy. My name's Grant, and now we're going to start doing some rants. Let's start it off with Cody. All right, I want to start on a rant about the Wisconsin Badgers and Bo Ryan. He just won Big Ten Coach of the Year. I think he deserved it. They finished fourth overall in the Big Ten. They did it with no one. They don't have any first-team Big Ten players. They lost their starting point guard in Josh Gasher at the beginning of the year. So I think this is great for him. He deserved it, and they're going to go to the NCAA tournament, hopefully win the Big Ten tournament. So congratulations to Bo Ryan. All right. I'm Skylar Holloway, and my rant is about state basketball. It was that time of year again this weekend. I'm a proud alumni of Rufus King Generals, who made it to state once again another year, but we did lose in the first round like we did when I was there. It was pretty sad, but they played hard. I enjoy watching the state basketball. Dominican won, I think, Division Four, And Diamond, uh, the center had, like, I think 36 points, 15 rebounds, and, like, 15 blocks in two games, so yeah, he was a beast. He like six seven two, so wow. state basketball, Chase. great time of year. That's pretty crazy. It sounds like you're into some high school basketball players. Do you know any high school basketball players who are thinking about making a leap to the NBA anytime soon? Uh, I did go to high school with Corey Lucius. Iowa State, uh, like you said. I did go to middle school with Trey McKinney, who plays on University of Miami, and for University of Nebraska, I do know. Uh, I think his name is Justin Simmons. So I know a few good D1 players that might go to the league. So, yeah. That's cool. I'm, uh, I'm an Arrowhead alumni. we uh about five-time champs for basketball in the years that I went there at least. But my you little rant. Five years? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. A little slow. But <laughs> besides that, here's my little rant. Taryn Matthew of L from former US LSU player is looking to go to the NFL and he is not going to get there. He's losing it and we're going to wrap it up now. Thank you for joining us on Sports Talk Live. We'll catch you next time we're on the air.